Well, a day after our successful trip to Pinedale over the mountain, I received my rear bumper from Slee Off Road. So we'll be installing it today. But right off the bat, just looking at it, we're right into a little snag. This is going to take all a little extra time to sort out and uh, the previous owner had a, w a bumper installed it was basically a guard around the stock bumper a tube, and they have welded this plate here that will, will, will have to grind it off and take it off and uh, paint it the best we can to, uh, because it's already rusting but that's the first thing we'll have to do. And then, unfortunately, I don't know if they don't include or just was omitted from our bumper setup, but we don't have any instructions, so we'll have to, we'll have to figure it out as we go along. Um, the bumper has two swing outs, one for the, for the ladder, and the second one for the spare tire carrier. Uh, it's very, very heavy, very sturdy. Uh, it would add probably about 200 pounds to the rear of the vehicle. But that's, uh, I guess, the price to pay for, for all that uh, sturdiness. All right, I took the remainder of the old bumper off. I have put the, the first of the side support brackets. Mitch was able to grind the plate off, grind the um, actual welds and took it off. But he made a big boo-boo here. <laughs> what Mitch? Yeah, it was kind of hard to see and uh, Probably the fact that we don't work with these tools every single day, kind of lacking in skills a little bit. It's a uh, it's pretty good ga uh, gouge in there, but um, I guess if it uh, gives at some point, we'll have to deal with it. We, um, I was contemplating maybe welding it back, but um, as Mitch uh, rightfully pointed out, it requires, if not special skill, but at least knowledge to um, to weld on the frame very sensitive you don't want to weaken it any more than it is already anyway we're going to clean it up paint it and we'll install it this is not the side that carries the tire even though it's spread out but anyway the the spindle that carries the tire is on the passenger side um, and as a matter of fact the kit doesn't even come with uh, hardware for this plate where's the plate Mitch yeah on, on from from the from the slee, the the only hardware it comes, there is a bolt that uh, will fix it from the bottom. Uh, but there is no hardware for the side. It's basically optional if somebody wants to drill it through because it's, it doesn't have uh, um, nuts in the back of this hole to to, to bolt it onto. So we'll uh, leave it as it is and drive on, and we'll see. Like I said, if it gives, we'll have to deal with it at the later point. All right, I think I mentioned on my impression how heavy the bumper is. So we, we're going to measure now from the... Where are you gonna measure it? Okay. So take a reading and we'll see how much. Well, I think it's gonna be more obvious uh, in this area. So once you measure it from the flare, to the floor and it's about what 40 inches 39 and three quarters yep exactly 39 and three, 39 and three quarters so we'll see how much uh sag will uh will it will uh, it will result in once we uh, put at least the bumper without even uh um the swing outs and the tire and all that stuff all right, we'll try to see how, 
how this uh, winch will fit in. Winch. <laughs> Did I say winch? Yeah, yeah because we're kind of winched. Well, not exactly winched anyway. Uh, yeah, what you gotta do is bring it down pretty much level with this. Bring it forward so we can see. A little more? Ah, that's fine. I think that's good right there. Um, where are the bolts? We need to put at least one on each side just to hold it up. How many uh, shims do you think it will require? Both. Both? It's quite a bit of space. Yeah. Well, try lifting that, that end. Yeah, we'll start with the small one. Oh, here's the small one. Oh, here's the big one. See the big one. Right now. Oh, it'll fit in. It's just, do you want it as close to the frame as possible? Well, it, it's, it's going to get tightened, right? Or are you talking about where, where we, how high we want it? I think we want it higher. Lift it all the way. This is without shim. Yeah, it doesn't interfere anything. So. Well, I think all the way high. Well, we need, no, actually think of it this way. We will have some flex if we're sliding on the rock. We don't want it to start rubbing against the body, so... We use both. Right. We use this one. Because as far as the loops go... Yeah, that would be perfect. It's, yeah, right there it, it's fine. There is enough gap yeah, where it's not points. going... If, even if it flexes, it's not going to hit the body. Give me the bolts then. And as far as um, positioning, front and back, this is perfect. For this one. All right, I'm, I need to... Oh, by the way... Um, even though we're kind of feeling our way along, that's because we are just ignorant hicks and we don't go by instructions. But the instructions are avail available on uh, Slee Off Road website. So we do have the instructions. They didn't come packaged, but one can always go on there and uh, print them. Any spacers? Oh, right. I don't know. Of course, the measuring tape will uh, tell us for sure. But I don't see it sagging that much. Of course, that's without the swing out and the tire. But let me start working on the next step. All right, shape, it's shaping up nicely. The bumper is installed, tightened. So now we're working on the swing outs. Swing outs come with the bearings that will go on this spindles. Mitch is a pro in packing the bearings with grease. Crack a smile, pro. Nice. All right, Mitch, um, get, the, get the measuring tape. Let's see how much did we lose on the rear. Huh? It looks level. I yeah, it. Do, I don't think it looks bad per se, because it was kind of nose heavy, tipping to the nose before. 
and now it's um, fairly even but let the measuring tape say its word it's right here right over there So it was 39 and 3 quarters, right? Mm -hmm. That's just under 39. Where did you? 39 and 3 quarters? Yeah, it's just under 30. It's 38 and 3 quarters. It went down an inch. So an inch. We lost an inch. Well, all things considering, considering the heftiness and the weight of it, it's not bad. So what is, what is your overall impression, Mitch? I like it. Well, besides liking it, uh, what do you think is cool about it? Well, not cool, but what do, what do you like about design? I don't know. I like the whole thing. Okay, cool. Well, here's <laughs> what I like. There is, it's very precisely cut and welded. The gaps are consistent. Provides uh, enough gap all the way around for trail flexing and if um, if the bumper will get stuck in a rock with all the weight of the vehicle, uh, you will probably flex somewhat, but there is enough room everywhere. The putting it together was a, a truly a breeze. Um, everything fits perfectly. Everything, uh, um, all the nuts that are welded, welded. Uh, I would not no issues of putting bolts on at all everything is uh, quality built and I, I guess the only drawback that I, I would see is would be the weight but it comes because it's uh, built so strong and hefty so I would suppose there's no way around it and that's about it for this video thanks for watching see you next time Oh, I guess one more thing I forgot to mention is it actually comes with a high lift jack um, place to uh, to hang it uh, standard. The place high lift jack will be uh, placed here, runs here, will be uh, fixed on there. So that's another nice benefit. I think the only thing that will require is um, if the plate of height lift jack, depending on the, on the model and, and manufacturer, it, the, the bottom, the plate of it might have to be drilled in order to fix it on here. Other than that, um, like I said, very well made, very strong. The ladder even holds this skinny little boy. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Good to go. Um, I guess one more thing, maybe, for tonight, but um, the roof rack, we had a spare tire that will be seen in the video from the trip, uh, no issues, um, I might go over and retighten it, but uh, even though it's aluminum and it does flex, but it's strong enough where one can easily uh, load thing, things from here. As far as how long will, will it last, cannot testify on that. Maybe there's other videos that people have installed um, with a similar product or with the same product. Anyway, I think this time around, good night everyone, we'll see you next time.